In the last video, we took a look at some of the basic editing functions in Newtone. In this video, we are going to continue our look at editing with some of the global editing parameters as well as exporting and converting your audio to MIDI. Along the top right side of Newtone's interface are a few controls that when used will apply their settings to all notes in the editor. This can be useful actually as the first step in editing to conform the notes making it easier to apply individual edits to each note later on. The first is center. This parameter will attempt to quantize each note to its closest pitch. Use the variation to control the pitch variations of each note. Setting this parameter towards the middle will flatten out the variations while positive values will expand the variations. Negative values will also expand the variations, however, they will be inverted compared to when using positive values. Use the transition parameter to control the smoothness of the variations between each note. Larger values will produce smoother transitions. Use global controls to quickly tweak the tuning and pitch of your audio sample. As Newtone has analyzed as well as applied any edits you may have made, Newtone knows all the pitch, timing, and length of each note, the main properties of most MIDI notes. Therefore, it is possible to convert this audio data into MIDI data. The first and easiest way is to simply apply this data as MIDI data in the piano roll of the current project in FL Studio. To do this, click on the Send to Piano Roll button. The conversion to MIDI is made and the results are placed in the piano roll of the currently selected track. If you already have a channel with an empty piano roll or would like to add the MIDI data to a piano roll that already has existing note data, you can copy the MIDI data to the clipboard and later paste it to the desired piano roll. Do this by right clicking on the Send to Piano Roll button. A little message will appear that the data was copied. Next, place your cursor to the position in the piano roll you want the data to be placed in. Select Paste from MIDI Clipboard from the File menu to add the data to the piano roll. Lastly in this video, we'll take a look at how to convert this audio sample and its note information to a MIDI file. To do this, click on the file icon and select Save as MIDI. Navigate to where you would like to save the file and click Save. So in this video, we took a look at working with the global edit parameters as well as converting the audio data to MIDI data and saving that data as a MIDI file or placing it into a channel's piano roll. In the next video, we'll be taking a closer look at the more advanced editing functions and tools in Newtone.